this one off? It did. It did. Eat what? Oh. What's that? Oh shh. Cute. Well, again, it's the blue now. What the f was that? That was the other REM pod. The new one. Is that you? No! Something Dude, I'm was right thrown. here! I'm right here, bro! Something was thrown. My gosh, dude. I'm full of body chills right now. Welcome to this amazing Paraflix Live. We are here tonight uh, on location at Para Experience 2021, the haunted side of Tahoe Biltmore. We are super excited and we'd love to give a big shout out and thank you for the opportunity to Jamie Lee Event Company. And a big shout out also to our friends at Paranormal, uh, My Paranormal Network, the Spirit Realm Network and Dark Zone TV. So we have a super fun night planned tonight. Uh, my name is Natalie Jones. I will be hosting this event. And here in a bit, we will be bringing on uh, Patty Negri and some of our amazing friends and content producers here at Paraflix, The New Reality, uh, The Dead Hours, and some of the cast and crew from the Harrisville Haunting, The Real Conjuring House, Matt Benton, Joe Patelli, um, Levy Rays. And so we're really excited. Also, will be joining us on the event, The Haunted Side, and some others. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're super excited to have all of you. And so, yes, if, you, um, if you're not familiar with Paraflix, Paraflix is the new network, new streaming service dedicated to all things paranormal, the home of the paranormal. And we're so much more supernatural, cryptid, thriller, extraterrestrial. And we're available now on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, the Google Play Store, and the Apple Store. And you can also find us at paraflix.com where you can subscribe. And right now we have an amazing network theme called Hashtag Haliflix, which is our celebration of the month of October. Halloween, 31 days of Paraflix Halloween to celebrate all things paranormal um, and spooky and everything that we love about that. So thank you again. Uh, tonight, we have a really special lineup. Before we get into the action out there at Para Experience 2021, we will be joined by our amazing uh, producers, creators, Unearthing the Supernatural. We have David Hero, and we also have Nicholas Sean Klen, Aberle. And before I bring them on, I'd also like to let you know that a little bit later after Parrot Experience, we're also going to be joined by our new creator, My Paranormal Experience, Nathan Withers. And they were they have an amazing film coming out November 6th called My Paranormal Experience, The Gateway Between Worlds. So without further ado, I will go ahead and uh, bring on Unearthing the Supernatural Hero. And How's it Shepard. going, everyone? Hi. Hi everybody. How's it going? Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Definitely. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. So before we jump into it, um, what are you most looking forward to this evening? I'm uh, mainly looking forward to being able to talk with everybody. And that's one thing we really love to do is to share our experiences, share who we are and share our channel and spread more love with uh, Paraflix and everything it has to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. And Hira, what about you? I'm looking forward to being able to see all the fans and how we are as a Paraflix family are able to interact and further explore the, the world of the paranormal. 
And just a couple of weekends ago, we were at Vulture City Paracon too. Yeah, that was yeah. a blast. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Wasn't that like one of your most top three incredible experiences of a lifetime? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Being able to meet all these really cool, like-minded paranormal people and just having awesome conversations at it, especially like at the location we were at, is just so amazing. Yeah, agreed. And unearthing the supernatural, y'all were amazing. It was incredible to meet you in person, give you a really big hug. And the first night, Friday night, we were uh, blessed to be able to be a part of an amazing ceremony that y'all put on for the event. Yeah, it was uh, the Yates uh, and as well as the owners of the, the location at uh, Vulture City. They were asked to be, uh, for us to do a ceremony of protection for the people in attendance as well as for the people of the event. And uh, we we gladly were like, yeah, we'll definitely do it. So. Uh, my yeah. brother and I worked hard to make sure that we were able to get the ceremony together, and it turned out to be amazing. Everyone there um, got some amazing feedback from everyone there. Just, it was an amazing ceremony, that's for sure. Yeah, it really was. And we were joined by so many amazing people, uh, paranormal figures, a, a lot of our family here at Paraflix. I, I can't, I mean, let's list it out. We had uh, the pleasure of course, thank you. A big shout out to Jay and Marie Yates for, you know, organizing the event. It was spot on and a big shout out to all of the crew that was there that, you know, really made everything come together. Everyone was working so hard and it was just a, a really, really great, um, you know, thing that, that they had for everybody. So we had, of course, y'all, uh, Ghost Static was there, Stefan Brigatti from My Darkest Hour, Patty, and uh, her cousin Gary, everyone knows cousin Gary, um, you know, so that was fun. And then we also got to meet Mike Ricksucker and um, all of the amazing uh, from Dark Zone TV. Um, but, you know, thank you to the Dark Zone TV for doing a very special interview with all of us. That was amazing. It was a great experience. We got to meet Kristen Lumen, Jay Bloomkey, uh, Patrick Doyle. Who else? I mean, I'm I'm naming all the all the lists. What uh, what did y'all enjoy the, the most about who you met at the event as well? Uh, I pretty much I enjoyed the. I think the most fun was all the the ceremony at the beginning uh, was awesome. Um, I also want to say the ghost hunt that we did, kind of uh, when when the sun went down and we uh, <laughs> got in a big group of people. The, all the celebrities were there. And uh, we all were able to be separated into these very active, very haunted buildings. And when we did the ghost hunt, I, I'd say that was the most fun I've had in a long time. And with that, we were able to see other experts and how they were able to investigate the paranormal, their approaches, and just seeing the spiritual interactions that happened during that night. It was such a powerful night. And yeah. everyone there had a blast. And it was an amazing event, that's for sure. Definitely. Well, let's show a few photos of the event because I'm sure more will pop up on these th these photos that I did not uh, name. There were so many amazing people there. It, it's hard to just name everybody that was there. Of course, there's all of the Unearthing the Supernatural crew, Bataya, Hero, Avery, uh, Sean Quinn, and then our uh, amazing newscaster crystal from nbc arizona uh, 12 news that came out and of course marie and jay yates definitely yeah that, oh, that was an experience that. For sure. yeah there we go <laughs> <laughs> i cherish this photo i have this was right after the ceremony when we took this photo uh here's another one right after the ceremony as well there's all of us with ghost static <laughs> and here y'all are with Jay and Marie. Oh, it's like one of my uh, that that photo. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna keep forever. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna frame here this one. Too. With yep, Patty that one too. Yep. <laughs> here was the morning of the new of the uh, news story. Oh. Yep, it's just some just a bunch of celebrities right there. That's for sure. Yeah, and y'all didn't know. Lots I... of love. It was awesome. 
Yeah, y'all didn't know I, I uh, snapped this shot. This was when you were doing your presentation um, on Unearthing the Supernatural series on Paraflix. That was really neat. Uh, I'd like to go into that a little bit more. And this was when uh, the Dark Zone TV was interviewing Patty and I. There's Kristen and Jay and Patty. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So there we go. You guys that had an amazing setup and just the whole event i mean with most events i from what i've seen have been indoors vulture city is very unique in how it was outdoors right yeah. with all the spirits that were outside and just agreed. in the elements it, it was awesome right yeah agreed so uh with with that said tell us a little bit more about your presentation and your experience there and kind of what you went into because as we are um getting into this i'm a, i think i'm about to play some really cool things for y'all um but before we get into that i do want to show everybody a quick little clip of our um our experience with you during your uh ceremony definitely so here we go <laughs> Yeah. That was just a little sneak <laughs> peek. It's a little sacred, but yeah. So your presentation was incredible. Tell us a little bit about your experience with um, recently you were just on Ghost Adventures as well, and you had uh, the uh, incredible opportunity to work uh, for with Demi Lovato on the new show Unidentified and all of that. So give us a little insight into into all of that and the, and the series on Paraflix as well. Sweet. Yeah. So all of that that you just named, uh, going back to even the pictures of the Paracon and everything just really brings me a smile and just nothing but happy, good memories. And when it comes to like us being on Ghost Adventures with Demi Lovato, it was all really surreal moments for us. And to be able to be a part of such a big name like people like that, like Ghost Adventures and Demi Lovato, you know, we, we grew up watching these guys and Demi Lovato's like, eh, I think she's around your age, right, Hero? Yeah, she's around my age, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we grew up watching her like on Disney Channel and everything like that. And, you know, Ghost Adventures, we grew up watching him and just to be in their presence and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Never in our lives do we ever think that we were going to be in front of them, you know, in the in the situations we were. And one thing that was really cool too about like Paracon is we got to meet a lot of cool people too, just like you we got to meet Patty and all these other big name people in the industry. And it wasn't really like one thing I loved about it was it wasn't formal, like it wasn't too formal and it was just like a family happy gathering. And that's one thing I loved about it was everybody was just so nice to each other. Everyone was just so just amazing and that's just really what i have to say about all that hero you want to tell your experience yeah yeah uh like my brother said when interacting with big names uh like demi lovato or the whole ghost adventures crew um always being a pleasure working with jay marie yates and then just at paracon being able to work with all the big names people that we see on tv people that we grew up idolizing um just everyone around, it, like my brother said, it was an amazing environment. It was amazing, uh, just coupled a few days of ghost hunting, interacting with the spirits and just sharing each other's crafts, sharing each other's expertise, sharing each other's knowledge. And we definitely learned a lot. Um, go, diving a little more specifically into the, the experience with uh, Ghost Adventures, um, it was interesting to see how the crew, how, how they acted. And I mean, Zach, he was, he was a straightforward. He was honest. He was, he was very just, I, I would just describe, he was an awesome guy. When we did the ceremony, he was very respectful. Um, the spirits even gave him a spiritual name stars in his eye. When we worked with Demi Lovato, she was very respectful. We were able to work with the whole uh, Peacock and NBC team. They were amazing. And then just working, um, at Vulture City itself. It's just such an amazing location, a haunted location. And yeah. it really, all those experiences help propel us to where we are now uh, working with Paraflix and just our amazing content that we're 
looking forward to bringing to Paraflix. Uh, we've gone and investigated a lot of amazing places and just our style of investigating and how we interact with the spiritual entities and spiritual beings, it's very unique. Uh, there's not, not very many Native American paranormal investigators out there and even fewer who use traditional techniques and ancient, and ancient stories and ceremonies to be able to interact with the spiritual realm. And that's kind of who we are and how we kind of little set ourselves a little bit apart. And so a lot of the knowledge we have, we look forward to bringing to the paranormal community and look forward to bringing to the people in general. Um, Paraflix has been amazing to us, an amazing platform to help get these, these messages out there. And we're looking forward to new episodes coming out very soon with uh, Hollow Flicks, a couple episodes coming here in the next uh, one in a few days, one on Halloween night. And it's going to be awesome. That's for sure. We are super excited. Super I, I, excited. Uh, one one, one thing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to give like a special shout out. I figured out. you were about to say something. That was the yeah, awesome thing. I was thinking about that. I was just like, I want to give a special shout out to Joy Marie Yates. Love you guys. You guys. I hope you guys are safe and loving your new home. You know, thank you guys for putting on such an awesome event. And honestly, like without the without the Yates, we would not be where we're at right now. And they, they they say, no, it's you guys. It's you guys. It's you guys. You know, but we go back and forth on that. But it's we honestly really became family with them and we share a lot of love with them. And it's just can't thank them enough for just meeting them in general. And honestly, when we first met Jay Yates, he told us this months after once we became good friends is how we met them was we went to go do an investigation overnight over there back in Vulture City. And that night, Jay came by himself and we paid online and he he was like really surprised to see like, you know, like four or five like tall Navajo men coming up, knocking on his window in the middle of the night. And if everyone has seen our episodes, we don on our sacred gear, sacred armor, sacred weapons and everything. And yeah. Jay, a couple months later, he was like, to be honest, man, when you guys first showed up, I honestly thought I was going to get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> so he, 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 he no way. <laughs> he, was he, was like, he called Marie. He's like, Marie, if I don't show up, just know I got robbed by these guys and everything. Oh, like my that. gosh. That's a <laughs> cute story. Yeah, so I just want to say yeah. thank you, Jay and Marie Yates. You guys, you guys rock. Yes, a huge shout out to Jay and Marie Yates. I've come to love them dearly. Marie is is now like a newfound sister to me, and and Jay is a brother as well. So again, Jay and Marie Yates, thank you so much for the amazing event, and thank you for being you. And from all of us here at Paraflix and the Supernatural, we wish you the best on your new journey, a new chapter, and your new home in Tennessee. And now I would love to play the series intro uh, for season two of Unearthing the Supernatural. Mm. Ooh. Did you hear me? Stop here. Who is that? I can't get Where am I? Maybe they can. Save us. Save us. Save us. What if I told you? that everything you know about ghosts and demons was only scratching the surface. We are a Native American paranormal investigative group that uses ancient teachings and techniques combined with modern technology to make contact with entities of the other side. <laughs> Join Hero, Sean Clan, Pataya, and Nal Rio as we take you on a journey to unearth the stories and secrets of the supernatural. We are few of many, one story of thousands. We are unearthing the supernatural. Wow. I get I get chills every time I watch that. Every time. <laughs> yes. I do as well. So tell us about what you've got going on for season two and what we uh what what's already out, um, some of your highlighted experiences and kind of what you've got coming for everybody exclusively on Paraflix. Yeah, so we have a lot of a lot of content. We've only been filming for I'd say about two 
a year and a half, two years now. And we were able to share a lot of our season one episodes remastered on Paraflix and more of our iconic episodes that we've had all together as a channel and as a group. And one thing I love about each episode is each episode has a different spirit. Each episode has a different lesson it has to teach. So we in our first season one, we had, I believe, Vulture City, of course. So our first interaction whenever we went to Vulture City and then our return to Vulture City is on season one remastered. Gila County Jail, uh, you'll see that one in the intro. Oh, the wild, wild, wow. wild yeah. episode, if I could ever say anything. So that one's a really good one to watch, too, as well. Um, we have a couple other ones on there and then uh, from season one. And we just recently started season two, I'd say, about a little over a month ago now, I'd say. About that, yeah. Yeah, so we started streaming that on Paraflix now. And we have, like, an all-new camera, all-new filming equipment, audio, everything. And we really – one thing we really strove to do was to increase our quality when it came to our production and episodes. Mm -hmm. And we're really striving to try to be the best. And yeah. every episode that we do – we always we're our hardest critics when it comes to everything like that and so we always strive to be the best and we're never done learning when it comes to making episodes and everything like that as well as for filming tactics and everything like that so well, our first episode was cedar or fort courage so fort courage, fort courage, yeah. yeah we we went to an abandoned uh roadside attraction called fort courage and mm -hmm. In between the border of Arizona and New Mexico, it's kind of like a pull off on the I seven I I ten I forty I forty I forty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have a bunch of highways by me. <laughs> so there is that one. Uh, we were able to interact with the, a Kachina spirit there, which was really interesting and new for us. And one thing I love about season two is due to the pandemic kind of lifting and a lot of other restrictions that were laid upon the Navajo Nation. A lot of the lockdowns that were in effect during COVID-19 were lifted. So before, during season one, we could never really go back to our reservation to be able to film because we had lockdowns because of COVID yeah. and everything. So now that those restrictions have lifted for season two, we're actually able to take you guys back into the Navajo Nation and to show you some of our spirits, our teachings, and some of our sacred land that we have, sacred uh, locations that we have, too. So Fort Courage was, uh, it's kind of like a, on the border of Navajo Nation. And then episode two that came out was Cedar Springs Trading Post. And yeah. that one was uh, a location that one of my uncles uh, showed us. And we were like super excited to be able to go out there. And man, it's like whenever we go investigate, we can never go when it's like perfect weather. <laughs> it, it's always like really cold or really hot and out there is triple digits out there in uh, Delcon, Arizona, a little bit outside of Delcon. And uh, so we were able to teach a lot of our, some of our spirits that were there as well. Now, episode three that came out was the Crown Point Mill. Mm -hmm. Now this yeah. is for the, the hallowed journeys to uh, Virginia City for Unearthing the Supernatural. So this is one of our most unique episode i would say because the spirit that we interacted there with was very i guess how would you say hero was very unique but we weren't very knowledgeable very scientific yeah we weren't expecting to be able to see a spirit that would help us do a science experiment when you think of ghosts and paranormal you never think of doing a science experiment <laughs> you yeah. know with so the ghosts yeah, it's like, like the ghosts are helping. <laughs> yeah, the ghosts are helping with the experiment. And you never really see a, a ghost or a spirit willing to be able to help in a science experiment. So that one was really cool. Go check that one out. And the next two episodes of our Hallow Journey, uh, the next one that's going to be coming up in the next couple of days is going to be a fun one as well. Because originally when we went to the uh, Virginia City, this location wasn't originally planned. So when we got to Virginia City and we we tried planning out to go to this location, but we just kind of like scrapped it. We we're just like, okay, we're not going to be able to go because we haven't heard from anybody yet. And while we were in Virginia City getting ready to investigate the Crown Point Mill, we get a call. We get a text saying, hey, the owner's across the street. Why don't you guys give him a call and set up a meeting with him? So we're sitting there having lunch, just really tired from our journey. Yeah. and. 
Hero goes and gives him a call and is like, hey, we're here. Uh, is there any way that we could try to set up an investigation maybe tonight or tomorrow? He's like, yeah, come meet me at the cafe. So we go across the street in Virginia City. We meet the owner, and he is a really cool guy. I want to give him a shout-out, too. Thank you so much for letting us go investigate on such short notice and trusting us with your building and everything. So I want to say thank you for that. And it was really cool. So like he's just like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll show you around. I'll give you guys the keys. Just put the keys back when, you get, when you're done. I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> so that building that he gave us the keys to is the Mark Twain Territorial Enterprise uh, Museum that's in Virginia City. And everyone probably knows this location because Ghost Adventures, uh, one of their recent episodes that they did was and they investigated that place. And inside there, I'm not going to really tell you guys too much because I'll save it for the episode. But there's a lot of kicks inside of this building that are very unique to us and our group and how we interacted with that, those spirits inside of there. So and then after that, we have one more episode and that's going to be shown on was it Halloween, Halloween night? Or Halloween, Halloween, night. Yeah. Halloween night we have yeah. the Washoe Club. Now, this one is going to be our season finale for season two, and it's going to be insane. Like, one of our members, he could tell you, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people know who that might be, but <laughs> he's one yeah. of our heroes and one of our strongest members. But, you know, some things happen to him inside of that building, and definitely we will mm -hmm. not forget the Washoe Club. So, then we got those lined up and we have like a lot more cool locations lined up for season three. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Well, yep, we got, this is definitely. very exciting. Yeah. And go ahead, Hero. Yeah. So uh, along with all that, uh, we definitely got some more uh, some teachings and tales lessons going to be going up on YouTube, as well as uh, a little bit of a background into some of the evidence that we found is also going to be going up on there. Um, all of it, like, like my brother is saying, is at Virginia City right down the street from tonight's main event over in uh, Lake Tahoe. Um, and yeah. I'm super excited to see what they'll have over there. This is very exciting. Well, we're going to wrap this up with an amazing preview of your season two trailer. And then before y'all go, uh, we'll, we'll let you tell everybody where they can find you. And thank you again so much. So here's the uh, season two trailer. I'm ready to go wow. work out right now. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here tonight. <laughs> Y'all are absolutely incredible. We love you so much here at Paraflix Paranormal Plus. Tell us where we can find you. 
So you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We have some episodes on YouTube, but mainly Paraflix exclusives. So go check us out on Paraflix. Big shout out to you, Natalie. Thank you for inviting us here. Had a great time. It was great to meet everybody. Bye. Thank you so much. See you soon. Thank you, everyone. I hope. Now for the moment all of you have been waiting for, uh, we are here live at Para Experience, the haunted site of Tahoe Biltmore. We are joined by our uh, very own, the Dead Hours, the Harrisville Haunting, the Real Conjuring House, Matt Benton, Joe Vitale, and Levy Rays. We've also got the new reality, which is the trailer that you saw at the beginning of the live here. And we've also are going to be joined by the haunted side, Jason and Patrick. And of course, the beautiful Patty Negri, who is also my partner here at Paraflix. She is the senior executive VP. She's also founder and co-owner of University Magicus, which is a new university dedicated to metaphysical esoterics uh, with a very unique elevated approach. You must check it out. Grab a free class at universitymagicus.com. They are promotional partners, our partners. And again, uh, Patty is also uh, on the Witching Hour podcast with Patty Negri, only on my paranormal network. So I would love to give an introduction to Patty. She's also written this amazing book. If you have not gotten a copy, definitely grab your copy. Old World Magic for the Modern World. And I'm going to go ahead and play a, a couple of items. And we're going to go ahead and bring Miss uh, Patty Negri on. Hour. I am Patty Negri, psychic, medium, and good witch, and I am your host for this hour journey into the other world. You might recognize me from my regular appearances on Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures, or from my other appearances, or from my book, Old World Magic for the Modern World. But this is my baby. This is the witching hour. What's the witching hour, you might say? Well, actually, it's really late at night. It's somewhere between midnight or 3 a.m., when the veil is the thinnest and magic happens. But this witching hour is about you. This witching hour is about bringing that magic into your life with empowering, useful, fun, magical information. And this witching hour is whenever you happen to be listening to this podcast. Every week I am going to bring you my lifetime of spiritual experiences, education, and the paranormal. But the good part is my amazing guests. I'm going to bring you the leaders and experts in their field from all over the world. Thought-provoking, entertaining, and informational chats with people who are the absolute best in magic, spirituality, and the occult, and all things supernatural. So thank you for joining me here on The Witching Hour. Sit back, relax, and let's journey together. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful friend and partner at Paraflix, Miss Patty Negri, live at Para Experience 2021. Hi! Hi, partner. Hi, Natalie. How are you? Wonderful. We're so excited. Sean and Cody. Sean and Cody, say hi. Hey. What's up, guys? How are we doing? And we have got this beautiful crew of folks here. 
Amazing. And we're very beautiful, haunted, old Biltmore in Lake Tahoe. Uh, and Sean and Cody are going to lead us on an investigation. We're going to do a quick lifting of the veil so the spirits can honor. talk that much better. So if we want to do that, it's it's amazing here. We did a little baby tour earlier, and it's great. And all these amazing teams, a whole lot of Paraflix teams are here. It's like a big old family reunion. The only thing missing is you, is, is you, Miss Natalie. Next time you're in Virginia City. Yeah, next year, Virginia City. Yes. 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 Every Yes. So, um, okay. So I don't know. Do you have any questions or should we just go this? We're going to lift the veil real quick and go into our investigation. Then I'm going to hang back and be the fly on the wall while they take over. If that yeah, works. that sounds great. Take the okay. lead. Yeah. All right. So what I've been doing since I was a little kid, didn't even know what it was at first. It's I lift that veil between our world and their world. I work elementally, so it's not going to conflict with your belief system, your religion. I work with the elements of earth. So everybody watching live or live right here take a deep breath in hold it hold it hold it exhale hold it out hold it out hold it out another deep breath in hold it hold it hold it and exhale take one more deep breath in and hold it and exhale keep slow breathing i do want the east winds to blow through this building to blow out any blocks any confusion any lack of communication with us in the spirit world and make clear concise real communication with us and them in respect in love and in reality so winds of the east be with us now i want to call in the south the fire passion creativity love sex god everything that makes our heart beat i want to bring that fire to burn away any blocks to burn away anything negative and to mold it mold it perhaps into the shape of a heart perhaps into the shape of a beating heart where we may communicate with them the spirits on the other side spirits of the south be with us burn away mold and shape i want to call in the west the sweet waters of the west most of our body is water. Most of our planet is water. That is our emotions. May those sweet waters cleanse and open up that space between. And with the waters, may the mists of the ancestors within each of us, within each of our blood, rise and rise. And lastly, I want to call the North, Mother Earth herself. Let us be strong. We are of the earth right now, strong like trees with roots deep into the earth. But may our arms and branches reach all the way into the heavens and the stars and teach, speak to the spirits there. As we lift this veil between the worlds, we raise the veil, calling in all that is within this hotel to keep each of the people safe. The veil is raised. And you guys might feel all your senses will be a little bit heightened. Your smell, your taste, everything because we just like lifted a little bit of a net upon everything. So it's gonna last for days too, when we close it. So anyway, so now I'm gonna take it over with, uh, go boys. Let's do this, let's do this. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, we're going live and here we go. We're gonna do a little intro. Yo, what is up everybody? How are we all doing? We are live at the Tahoe Biltmore. And we just witnessed Patty Negri do a unveiling. Um, again, opening up the, uh, the veil so we can communicate with the spirits much easily. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're standing outside room 310 and 311. We have people with us. Everybody say hello. Hello, yeah. hey, we can't wait. Let's do this. A little, little special shout out. We got a uh, so uh, Jason the the What's going on? We got some Joe back here. What's up, Joe? Say hi. Hey, say hey. hi. Hey. All right, guys. Everybody here has investigated before, with um, the exception. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go inside here and see what we can catch. Yeah, we've had a lot of activity in these two rooms, so it's we're we're already feeling right. static. We're getting touched. And we just, yeah. just down here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's roll. We're walking. We're walking. Oops, sorry. This is a beautiful old hotel. It's it's like gangsters and Hollywood, old Hollywood and gangsters and things. So I'm going to turn this. I'm going to actually reverse this. If it lets me reverse this. I don't think it does. What's up, Crow? Okay. What's up, Tony? What's amazing is we can see. How many people do we have with us? How many people? Okay, I'm going to open the other one as well. 
that way it's not crowded. Because it will split the um, energies split between the two people. We'll give, we'll have half of it. You, you want to go in here and I can. Um, yeah, I'll stay here. You want to go there. Three eleven. Yeah. Okay. Here we're gonna so split. So half of you guys go with Sean over to the other room. Half of you guys stay here. Uh, Whoever wants to leave, it doesn't matter. We're gonna. Like hey, hey, Sean, like, hand me that mic, please, bro. I didn't count. <laughs> Thank you. Wait till they get in. Okay, we're excited now. All right, guys. So what I like to do before I start an investigation is just get super quiet, feel the room out, kind of see what you can pick up, hear any knocks, hear any voices, something touches you and whatnot. So let's get let's do like a little two minutes of silence and we'll see what we pick up. Was that somebody? Anybody hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Out of the bathroom? All right, hello, my name is Cody. So I like to introduce myself. Whenever you're doing paranormal investigating, you want to introduce yourself. They're, they're people, right? They're not. So that's who we're talking to. So if everybody can introduce themselves. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Whoa. Um, that much, but like so if everybody can introduce themselves, my name is Cody. I'm Sharon. I'm Lanel. I'm Brittany. I'm Kayla. And I'm Patty. What's up? Okay. So, if there's anybody here with us right now, in this very moment, can you give us a sign? Knock on a wall, say one of our names. Anybody hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the back? Mm -hmm. Is there? So, oh, a shadow back. What is that? Make a lot of noise in there. So a shadow in this room is very common. I just They're noticed. Just half behind me too. I just noticed. Sean has all of her. Give me two seconds. Can you hold on? I'm gonna grab some. So what we've done is we've broken into separate groups with different different investigators and different mm -hmm. paranormal groups going throughout the hotel. Um, Cody just went to go get some equipment because Sean took it all in the other room. Um, but should I step out for a second? I'm going to step out for a second. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's this place is, is pretty awesome. Um, it's by saying old school, it's like crazy old school. It, yeah. they, they can't, haven't like modernized it, modernized. It looks like you're walking into 1950s Dean Martin's Frank Sinatra's lairs. That's and, incredible. Uh, feel everything. Mm -hmm. It's every room feels different. The chapel where I'm going to be doing some sessions tomorrow. Something that hit me in the gut the minute I walked in. It was great. Oh. Um, and and then I, I think I don't know if we're gonna go there tonight. We're up climbing through the rafters and things and it's pretty awesome. That's incredible. Um, yeah. Yes, did you uh, to, hmm? did you did you feel whenever you felt like you got hit in the gut, did you get a sense of, of what or who it was? Yeah, it felt like, um, it, I don't, it didn't take it personally like it was about me. It was personally like somebody's just like, oh, like it was their mm -hmm. hit in the gut. And I think Sean or Cody, a couple of people said there's, it is, it's a chapel, people get married, like in Lake Tahoe or in Nevada, people do that big, you know, Nevada gambling yeah. hall yeah. wedding. And it was somebody waiting for somebody um, maybe they didn't show up for the wedding or something like that. And, um, it was just a literal hit in the gut. And there's this one place we, I don't know, we we're walking through the rafters and there was such a swirling of energy above. You almost were falling off and we're on these little tiny squares where you have to duck through the stairs. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting week. <laughs> it will be. 
So tell us a little bit more about what the what plans are over the weekend and what you're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a lot of panels. I'm doing a panel. I, we just had a, it was really nice. It was a paranormal boot camp investigation 101 by this crew out of Florida. And like if how to start a team, what to do, what not to do, the basics of equipment to get if you want to without, you know, having to mortgage the house to do it, how to bring people onto the team. It was really nice 101 of how to do this. Um, that uh -huh. was the first thing we did so far. We just did a mix and mingle. Tomorrow yeah. we have a whole day of panels and workshops. Um, I'm doing a um, we're we're doing more investigations. I'm doing a midnight seance in the big room, which, which should be interesting because, as you know, oh. the is so close to Halloween right now, the veil yes. is thin. Anyway. It's it's like wah, so it's it's yeah. pretty great. That's and incredible. It, it's amazing that I got here. I mean, anybody <laughs> was following social media. It's like this plane yeah. was that plane. <laughs> Yeah, I was about and, to say it looks like you you had a, a bit of, of an ex, of a an experience today getting there. So there's a lot of there's a lot of I, fun energy, a lot of fun energy, and it was. But I just I kept it funny I, because yes, I ran two complete terminals and took like a sliding into home header like I've never done before and got up and I'm running. They're like, who is this insane woman? And then okay, but I actually got it. I'm got on the second plane. And my, my luggage showed up. My luggage showed up. And we're in Reno, Nevada. And then they sent me a lift. So my lift shows up. I, we're driving through insane, crazy, blustery, blustery snow. And I'm smelling something really weird. I'm smelling something. And, and my lift driver pulls over. He's going, I'm having some transmission problems. I'm like, of course you are. And we pulled over on a windy mountain road where there's nowhere to pull over. He goes, if I just need to stop and start my car a few times, it's like, okay, it's going to be an interesting weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm glad you're there safe. Tell us a little bit about University Magic. It's your new school. With yes, it is wonderful. Nick. It's, we bring the best students. I've been working with Nick, our partner in Paraflix, teaching yeah. with him. It, he started maybe even a year ago. He did one instagram live with me and months later he's running a successful school just really oh. casual haunted diary haunted diary not even the name of a school and then um and this beautiful people and great teachers coming in and all online and very affordable for everybody so he decided you know go go big <laughs> go bigger and um so i partnered up with myself and father sebastian again mm -hmm. we all, all Work together and Sebastian yeah. and I besties for for years now um and it's great it's it's this for in insanely inexpensive less than going to Starbucks you can get this a uh, spiritual education metaphysical I teach I just finished teaching a mediumship three weeks course I'm getting mm -hmm. ready to teach a seance certification course um a yeah. tarot course. there's lots and lots of one-offs I just taught an animal familiar class the other day. I taught a, a past life regression class, mm -hmm. and you get tapes. Everything you take, you get tapes. So it's a, uh, it's just we need it in this world, as you know, you and I, because you're the same. We're both teachers. We are yeah. both here to empower people with our work, yeah. with our books, and this is just one more med medium that we can do that to to bring, you know, empowerment to the people. We don't want them any specific belief system. Come up with your own, or keep the one that you have, or you know, mix something in together, but here's some new concepts that maybe you want to try or old concepts from many, many different belief systems, but all positive. Right. And if, um, if you subscribe to Paraflix, you get a free class to University Magicus with Patty as well. And where can everyone find University Magicus? Go to universitymagicus.com. University awesome. spelling U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. M A G I C K U S dot com. And yes, the first thing you're going to get right on there, it says a real life Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah. In, in cheek with the way University Magicus, but it's, it's real magic. It's, it's real, it's real mystery school. Um, that's approachable and doable for everybody all over the world. I love, and we're teaching class and it's 6 p.m. in Los Angeles where I am and it's 9 p.m. in the East Coast. And I got my sleepy UK people where it's two in the morning and I've got somebody in Australia where it's midday. 
and it brings together like-minded people, seekers, mm -hmm. magical people. Because what we do, what we do at Paraflex, what we do, mm -hmm. we bring the mystery of life back. We bring the mysticism that was so lost in the last few decades, mm -hmm. making everything so left-brained and logical and jump on the freeway and get there. You know, we need the windy path sometimes. We need the mystery. We need ghosts and spirits and magic and the unknown. Yes. There, well, there's just so much that, that we don't know. And that's a part of, of our passion, you and I, yeah. is the paranormal, the, you know, those things unknown. So, you know, that's what all of this is about for us. And our passion unites us, not only in Paraflix, but also all of us and all of you at University Magicus. And you have your Witching Hour podcast with Patty yes. Negri, which, by the way, thank you for having me on a couple of weeks ago. That was amazing. You were such a beautiful guest. We're going to definitely have you back. Yay. Yes. And I've been doing Witching Hour for a while. And now I'm part of the My Paranormal family, which, again, what we're learning from the kids today is that collaboration. It's where, again, our parents' parents' world or your grandparent world of this is mine and that is yours and I'm holding on to mine and this is this. It's like, no, yeah. what I'm learning from babies, these YouTubers and TikTokers and Instagram, no, yes, let's do this together. Let's do this together. And one plus one equals six. One plus one plus one equals 12. Um, so I love being part of my paranormal and part of Paraflix and part of University Magicus because we're all the same. We're like-minded doing slightly different things and then yeah. working together not the best. Definitely. And so now with uh, my paranormal network, of course, you have the, the podcast and all of that. So tell us all if if there's someone watching this who's not familiar with Miss Patty Negri, tell us all about you and what your history is and, and all of that, where you've been seen on because a lot of us do know, but you tell us. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I was born with a gift. I was talking to dead people since I could talk, three or four. I mean, almost a cliche that the, the guy in the closet, the little creatures under the bed, but they were real. They weren't imaginary, and I got real information. And I was always obsessed with the other side. and But it was never in a morbid or dark way. Um, so I did my first seance. I was seven or eight years old. I went in my little suburban middle-class house and stuffed towels under the doors into the hall, which had no windows. and and. I didn't know dead people, so I called in Marilyn Monroe and John Kennedy, anybody I could think of that I knew that was dead as a, as a little kid, and, and it filled with orbs and lights. And I'm like, yes, this is real, and it's controllable. Because my gift is I see energy. I see the energy between us, like the cords mm -hmm. we always talk about, cut the cords, no strings attached, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it, it's just spirit has led me. I wasn't raised with any belief system or religion. So I got to choose all, all from all of them. And I kept all of them in a say, I mean, I have a basic pagan belief system, very elemental, um, very shamanic in my work, but I draw from everybody because the through line of truth, that universal truth all goes down to love and magic and cause and effect, action and reaction. There's a million words for it, but we're pretty magical, these free will divine beings that we are. So anyway, and for people mostly know me is from Ghost Adventures. I've been a, a regular Zach and the guys since 2015. Um, episodes every season, which is pretty good. I've, I'm number four after Nick in the show. Um, <laughs> and, and, and it's great. Late, and I, my audience keeps getting younger. Then I started working with the TFIL guys, YouTubers, and they're 20-somethings. Then I started working again with Awesomeness TV and they're, they're teens, 17 to 20. And just yesterday I dropped this adorable Gavin Magnus. He's just turned 14. Aww. But we built more and I saw them how to, to, to lift the veil and talk to spirits and not be afraid and to communicate with their, their ancestors. Babies, mm -hmm. little babies. I'm waiting for my kindergartner show, I am. I, and I keep saying that in jest, but maybe not. That's incredible. And you've written this amazing book, book old, world, old World Magic, The Modern World. I swear it's a tongue twister, <laughs> but it's perfect. And it's a beautiful book. So tell us where we can find Old World uh, uh, yes. Magic. Yes. And it matches your book, which makes me so happy. I put your book right oh. next to my book yeah. because they both have the pinks and the purples and the magic, but yours is bigger. I love that. Um, you could buy it's it on Amazon. Twinsies. 
No, yours are beautiful. You can buy it on Amazon in in print copy or ebook or audio book, or you can buy it on my website in print, pattynegri.com. Very good. And before we let you go um, and get back to this amazing event, I'd like to just give a big shout out to Jamie Lee Event Company for oh. allowing us to have this amazing opportunity to do this live on location with everyone. It was awesome to see uh, Cody and Sean from The New Reality. We did play their trailer. They have a new uh, episode coming out called Hostel House. It's Paraflix exclusive. It's going to be coming to Paraflix very soon this month in celebration for our annual network theme, hashtag Halliflix. 31 days of Paraflix Halloween, right? So yes. we're really excited about that. You're gonna have a great weekend with the new reality, the Dead Hours, Vivian Noir, uh, the Haunted Side, that Jason and Patrick are there. Who else is there with you? Uh, the, the Harrisville Haunting, the Real Conjuring House cast and crew is there with you as well. Yes, we have everybody here. I'm just meeting them now. And we were just like, oh, I know I, people meeting them live for the first time, just just like we did in, in from Fulcher City. So I all sorts yeah. of people, I don't think I've met them all yet, all working together. Yeah. That's amazing. And I just, I, I, I you on Paraflex. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so spe speaking of meeting someone for the first time, I'm going to surprise you. Yeah. I'm about to bring on our new uh, creator, Nathan Withers of My Paranormal Experience. Nice. Patty, meet Nathan. Nathan, meet How Patty. are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. I heard a lot about you. And verse Faisa, I love the accent. Yeah, right. definitely Texan for sure. <laughs> Texas, Texas y'all. So, Patty, uh, my paranormal experience, they have a new film coming out November 6th called The Gateway Between Worlds. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about this film. It's incredible. We have an amazing trailer to play for everybody. So before we let you go, if you'd like, we'll go ahead and, and play the trailer and you can join in on the fun. Yes. All right. Here we go. And Patty, thank you again so much for all that you do for the world, for Paraflix, for My Paranormal Network, for Ghost Adventures, for uh, the Spirit Realm Network, for University Magicus, for all of our friends and, and family. Um, thank you. I'm glad that you made it safe today. Thank you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> all right. So here's the trailer. Story, this experience is real and myself and my crew were able to document proof of what is soon coming to Paraflix Paranormal Plus. In 1997, I was asked to do a spiritual mapping of Pampa. I faced one of the most mind-blowing paranormal experiences that I have personally ever documented. It has to do with the trauma that this place kind of has experienced in that area, and I really think that that's ex exciting. I was creeped out automatically. Oh, dude, look at that. That stuff's been pretty incredible. What about this gate is a portal? Where did it come from? And it's been pretty intelligent. I asked God to show me and lead me to where a spiritual gate was, and my eye caught that gate. I want to know the story behind this gate. You're not going to come against my friends. You're not going to give them against my family. And I'm going to stand here until you let go. My Paranormal Experience, The Gateway Between Worlds, premieres November 6th, only on Paraflix. <laughs> Yay! It's going to be good. Uh, yep. So, yeah. yeah, we actually just did an exclusive, you know, uh, screening of the film tonight for the first time. And it was a really good turnout. Um, and, you know, a lot of the people that watch the film, you know, are from our community. And most of the people that attended, you know, they had a good experience with it. I was very shocked to see the turnout. I'm, I'm my own worst critic. So when I, when I watch my own work, I'm like, oh, God, oh, oh Lord, you know, <laughs> whatever. But. No, it was it was a good first night turnout. So we still got two more to go. Awesome. Well, Patty, thank you again. 
And I think you were about to say something. No, I was just going to say thank you so much, Natalie. <laughs> nice to meet you, Nathan. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the film. Absolutely. On Paraflix. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a fun weekend. Paraflix I represent. Please t give everyone my greetings, our greetings from all of us here at Paraflix, and have a, have a blessed time. You too. Bye. Bye. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight, Nathan. Uh, sure, we are we are so excited to have my paranormal experience on Paraflix. And before we delve into all things my paranormal experience, I'd love for you to introduce yourself and tell everybody um, all about Nathan Withers. Oh Lord, no. Um, <laughs> well, okay. Um, my name's Nathan. Um, I'm from the Texas Panhandle area. You know, I'm in a little town called Pampa, Texas. Um, I am completely self-made when it comes to the film world. You know, I've self-taught my entire production. You know, anything that, you know, is taught with film, I've done it myself. I've had a few tips here and there, you know, but um, I have completely made every film that I've done, you know, completely experimental myself. So I've done everything on my own. Mm -hmm. But... Um, other than that, you know, I've been in the film industry, you know, all together for about 20 years. If I had to put a professional on it, you know, it'd be about six. Um, okay. Other than that, that's really about it. But, you know, I'm very much passionate about documenting the, the unexplained. You know, it's yeah. the paranormal is a huge part of my life. I spend about 90 percent of my time, you know, filming, editing investigating the paranormal you know if i'm not doing that i'm with my wife spending time with her but you know i've dedicated a lot of my time to the paranormal and you know it, it's 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 amazing i love it yeah that's incredible and you and i have spent some really good time speaking with one another and we've really found that um, our passion really does unite us but even even more other things that we've talked about um, I resonate with you so much and I have a lot of respect for, for your work as well. So again, we're super excited to have my paranormal experience and thank you for telling everybody all about you a little, uh, sneak peek snapshot. Sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's, yeah, it's an honor to be a part of Paraflix. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, and you have an event coming up, don't you in Jefferson, Texas? Yeah, um, it's History Hunts and Legends. It's not really my event, but you know, we're, we're going to be, you know, at the event, you know, showcasing our stuff and, you know, hosting a ghost tour and basically finishing up an episode that we started last month. And, you know, a lot of people probably don't know this, but you're going to be joining us for that. Yeah, and that's the yeah, big you'll surprise. Be us. Huh? Yeah, you'll be joining us for the little birdie invited me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. It's going to be awesome. You know, Jefferson's a big part of our history. You know, my, my crew, especially me and Beth, um, my other two members, Kara and Scotty, they've never been. This will be their first time to go. But for Beth and I, you know, we're pretty much, you know, regulars. At least once a year we're there for the History Hunts and Legends mm -hmm. event, and that's just how we are. You know, we were there last, um, last September filming for a project, and it was at the Jefferson Hotel. And Lyle Lotz from the Twisted Realm crew, you know, on, on Paraflix, he yeah. traveled all the way from Virginia to help us with, with, with the with the filming. And that was, to me, that was crazy. It was amazing. Getting to work with him was was a true honor, you know, and uh, it was definitely an experience. I'll never forget, for sure. Well, I look forward to meeting the, the Twisted Realm crew in person as well. And I'm really looking forward to November 6th, which just happens to be the same day that the film is going to be released on Paraflix. So we'll be having a big, um, the gateway between worlds Paraflix party that day, won't we? Yes, ma'am. We will. It's, yeah. uh, you know, this, this film, the gateway between worlds, it was very, you know, the, the entire time we filmed it, mm -hmm. um, it was very much on the go. You know, there was really no like, set time to film things, you know, mm -hmm. I, I showed up one day just started rolling and that's, you know, pretty much everything happened as you saw it in the film, you know, or whatever. Um, 
there was a lot of just raw moments that took place. Things that we never thought would happen took place. Mm -hmm. And that's very much the style of the film. You know, it's just behind the scenes. And um, when people see the story and I'll I'll be the first to tell everyone like this, this is not one of those films where everything is dramatic. It's really not, you know, and, and there are, there are some moments in the film where you have, you know, a dramatic moment, but it's, it's really a story. It's a groundbreaking and compelling, in my own opinion, story. And, you know, it started off with me just going to, go to this this gateway and you know try to debunk this claim that this woman made and it turned out everything that she had told me would happen happened plus more and then when my crew got involved we dug up some stuff that you know we never even knew it, you know happened here here in Pampa and it just oh, wow. added more questions and it, and it just added more, you know, credibility and, you know, just mind boggling situations that, you know, we, we encountered. And so it's one of those types of things to where the evidence speaks for itself, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I'd love to show a a picture of the team. Sure. Here. Let's show a picture of the team and then and then I'd love for you to, to tell us a little bit more about everyone. So from uh, left to right, we've got Kara Kidd, of course, Mr. Nathan Withers, who's here with us now, uh, Scotty Dabbs and Beth Huffman. Yeah, um, I'll start with Beth. Okay. Um, Beth is one of my OGs. <laughs> <laughs> um, she started with me, you know, we, I've known Beth for 12 years. Uh, she's yeah. basically like my, my, my bigger sister. And, um, we, we investigated with another team, you know, years ago. And basically whenever I started the show or the entire project, this is pretty much how it happened. Um, I had a vision that I, I've okay. wanted to do for many years, you know, uh, but I put that vision on hold for a lot of different reasons, but it became time to where I needed to just do this thing. You know, my wife was like, you know, you need, you really need to jump on this. Mm-hmm. Um, just make a video, but it needs to be, and it, it needs to be your own thing, like your own production, your own everything, but, sure. you know, showcase everybody. So, you know, and before I decided to do this, I was like, you know, before I can even make a series or even consider making a series, I need to put, you know, I need to put something like risk something of my own to, you know, to, to put out there before I put, you know, other people on the line. Mm-hmm. So I decided to literally like I have my cameras back here, but my backdrop and stuff. So I literally just set up a camera and this is where, this is where the name came from. I literally just set the camera up turn some lighting on, you know, maybe all my cinematic stuff. And I literally just said, my name is Nathan Withers and this is my paranormal experience. And I, I didn't even realize that I had said that as I was just talking. But as I had said that, yeah, there's Lyle. Um, right as I had sa- yeah. <laughs> um, as I had said this, you know, and I went to review the footage and after I had, you know, watched my introduction, I said, Oh my God, that's, that's the name. That's, that's the name of the show. Like that, that has to be it because, when, when people that do the show, you know, there's only one line they, they have to use. And that's, the, you know, so they say their name and this is my paranormal experience because it's not just mine. It's everybody's experience because everyone has a paranormal experience. Mm-hmm. So I think it was after that Lyle actually called me because I had posted on Facebook because, because my my ultimate goal was to literally put a 10 minute video together. I didn't I, I used no B-roll at all. It was just me and I use like sound effects to tell the story. So theater of the mind was the only yeah. way I, I wanted to go. But I wanted it to be simple and effective as possible. So when I did that, you know, I thought, man, like, I hope people don't lose interest in this because there's no B-roll. There's no storytelling clips. Well, Lyle mm-hmm. had called me, I don't know, a day later or something like that. And he says, he goes, hey, man, he goes, do you realize how special this is? And I said, Aww. what do you mean? He goes, do you realize like what you have here is very unique and we need this in, in the field. 
you know, and, and not taking anything away from anyone else. It's just, you know, he was simply telling me like, well, what I had to, what, what, what I had to offer was special. It was real, real emotion, you know, just raw in the moment type of a situation. Mm-hmm. And so um, he ended up teaming up with me for a short time and, you know, he filmed his entire team story. They sent me the footage and, you know, uh, that footage is, is insane. It hasn't been showcased anywhere. Um, we're still working on it, but uh, that's how that's how the series started. But when it came, I'm gonna go back to Beth now. Um, okay. Beth basically called me up one day. She's like, "Hey, she's like, I really want to be a part of your project. You know, I I, I want to branch out and do something different besides what I'm already doing. But I, you're the only person that has the sort, you know, the resources that and the tools that, to do this stuff." And so I had told her, I said, well, if you're going to be a part of my crew or part of what I'm doing, I was like, I would, you know, I really need you to learn cameras. It's that's one of the most important situ- p- parts in doing this is learning the production. Yeah. So, you know, during the first couple of weeks, you know, she did cameras. She did great. You know, it was definitely out of her comfort zone. It's not something she's ever done, but she did it. You know, and she did a great job with it. Um, she became the series manager for a while. And uh, now she's the co-host. You know, yeah. she was she did she did a lot of recruiting, like people that wanted to share a story. She was like, you know, recruiting people, like you know, bringing people to me and showing me the stories, and you know, just scheduling people in. And that was really really amazing. We, we would have different people each week that we were that we were you know I- interviewing. And then um, shortly after that, I remember Scotty. He went on several shoots with me prior to to the the project being you know created. And he had said, if you ever branch off and do your own thing, like I, I want in, like I, I'm, I'm all in it. I want in, I don't care what I'm doing, but I want in. So I made, I made Scotty, you know, our camera guy for a little while, you know, and he basically took the camera and just went with it. I mean, he learned it and he, he did phenomenal with it. But then, you know, and after that, Kara came along and, um, you know, my wife kind of recommended Kara. Uh, she actually posted a, a, a deal on Facebook right before I recruited her. And it said, all I want to do is get is uh, is hunt ghosts and get paid to eat or something like that. Oh, my gosh. It was a, it, my wife pointed it out. And I was like, wow, like that's hilarious. Like that that's the kind of person I want on my team. Like that's hilarious. You yeah. know? So I reached out to her and she was, you know, all about, you know, coming go, you know, on board. And um, so we, we, we brought her on. And matter of fact, the first time that I ever met her, met Kara in person, was during the filming of the Gateway Between Worlds. That was the first time we had ever met face to face. That's so cool. So it was a very, yeah, it was a very, uh, it was a really cool experience. Yeah. And um, you know, my crew is everyday people. They are they sh- we we share the same passion and desires. Mm-hmm. You know, in in making these these projects. And um, we have the same goal, you know, we, we want to give a good product, you know, but we also, you know, we're, we're just like you guys, you know, yeah. we all have, you know, families and, you know, we're, we're mm-hmm. just, we're good people, you know, sure. we, wanna, we want Absolutely. to treat people with respect, you mm-hmm. know, we're a big family, basically. Um, yeah. There's not one, there's not one time we get together and something stupid happens. And we laugh about it. <laughs> I'm in you know, for it. I would, yeah, I would call Beth our class clown if I had to give a name <laughs> for it. Um, if if Beth just like disappears, it's because she's shooting a TikTok video and she's not filming. <laughs> like that's what she's doing. But I mean, I'll you be know, over and, with Beth filming the, the TikTok. Video. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you know, in my, my crew, um, I I value each and every one of their talents. You know, because each and every one of them have something they offer. You know, mm-hmm. Beth is the co-host and, you know, um, Scotty is our, is now our, our, our gear guy. He takes care of our, all our, our tech stuff, investigative gear, care is our camera operator, um, in audio. And of course, you know, and me, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just me. Nothing special about me. I just edit the videos, but <laughs> I mean, um, you know, our, our crew is extremely unique. You know, we, I haven't seen a crew like us. Not mm-hmm. seeing there isn't one like us, but I have not seen one yet. Um, but I'm just excited to be a part of this whole this whole thing. I'm blessed to even have the opportunity to be on Paraflix. 
and I'm thankful to even, you know, be a part of anything like this. So that's pretty much it with, with my paranormal experience. Yeah. Well, and I've had the opportunity to, um, again, meet you, uh, via, uh, zoom and Beth as well, but I have not yet met Scotty and Kara and we've not met in person. So again, I'm looking to the Jefferson event and congratulations on your, uh, premiere at the theater this evening that's absolutely awesome yeah you know i'm not like as far as the premiere goes you know this film takes place in pampa it's it's completely based out of pampa yeah. and i figured you know before i you know we let it hit you know paraflix or any other platform or whatever you know i wanted i wanted our community to have the first dibs on it because you know for the last i don't know six months people have been asking about like, you know, Hey, when's this going to be released? And like, they've been begging for it. And so I thought, you know what, I need to make this something exclusive for them, for, you know, for at least a weekend, because it's, it's our way of saying thank you for the support. Sure. The continued support and the love that they've shown, you know, towards our team since the very beginning. And it's going to, it's just given them, you know, that access to, you know, what, you know, is, is coming in the future with my paranormal experience. Yeah. And so, you know, the, me, I'm not, I'm not real big on getting in front of crowds. Like that's part of me having to step out of my comfort zone. So like I had to do a, oh. a little speech tonight about, you know, the series and, you know, the, uh, the film and all that stuff like that. So yeah, we, we probably, you know, I think we may have had in all honesty for this first one, I think there's might've been like 25 people that attended, which is, you know, which is great. It's, I mean, I'm happy that anyone even came to watch it, but you know, even that many people and I'm having to stand in front of people and, and talk, it was kind of nerve wracking, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. And, uh, it looks like, um, on November 6th, the film is going to come out. So it's going to be only on, on Paraflix and tell us a little bit more about what you your plans are for the future with experience and again a huge welcome from all of us here at the paraflix family we're super excited and super grateful to have you and we really look forward to the future with with everybody so tell, tell us a little bit more about your plans on what to expect from all of you sure um well without giving a lot away uh the one thing i will say is this film sequels into the series it okay. ends by sequeling into the series that's about as far as i'll go with that but um you know as soon as we get the film out to paraflix you know i will immediately start editing the actual series because this entire show the entire you know documentary series has been put on hold because of this project because mm. the story was so incredible to me and groundbreaking that i was like you know i can get this done in no time I can have this film done and ready to go in no time. And I was like, now this, this is, this is incredible. This needs to be done before the, before the actual series comes out. So, um, I can't put a release date on the, on the, on the series yet because, you know, we, we've just now started, we just now have, you know, a couple of episodes we're actually looking into putting together first. But, um, I will say this when it comes out, you know, you guys will be the first to know about it. And um, I, I can't wait for everyone to see what we've got coming. And, uh, you know, when y'all watch The Gateway Between Worlds, it'll give you all kind of a, a sneak peek at how the, the series will look when it comes out. Yeah. So before you go, please tell everybody where they can find you on social media and outside of Paraflix. Well, um, you can follow us on TikTok, I mean, honestly. Um, I actually just joined that bandwagon a few months ago. <laughs> I have absolutely refused to do TikTok for the longest time. But a lot of our followers have kept telling me like, Hey man, like if you're doing paranormal stuff, like there's a community for the paranormal on TikTok." And I finally caved in and I created one. And then, you know, I think within, I don't know, about a month or so I had over 1300 followers and I, I found that to be crazy. Oh, so wow. many people were, yeah. were supporting it. And, um, my, my TikTok is, um, at Nathan Withers 2290. Um, you can follow me on Instagram under Nathan Withers 22. You can follow us on our, on our Facebook page which is my paranormal experience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think that's, that's really about it. Um, oh, and you can follow us on my paranormal experience, Instagram page too. 
Um, but that's really it as far as social media. But um, as far as I'm trying to think here, we post, a, we have a podcast. Well, actually Beth does. It's called my haunted experience. And should we do that every other, every other Friday? Okay. It's at 8 p.m. Central. Um, it's on our page, on our Facebook page of uh, My Paranormal Experience. And I uh, hope you guys will tune into that because that's very much Beth's baby there. She handles all the podcasting stuff. I'm just there. <laughs> but um, no, once again, I, I really appreciate this opportunity. Um, yeah. I think what y'all have going here is is phenomenal. It's my style. I love the colors. <laughs> the colors are so cool. Yeah. Um, Red, it's just, black. it's an honor to be a part of this. Well, again, it's really the, the pleasure and the honor is, is all ours. Welcome to the Paraflix family. We're really uh, looking forward to November 6th to release the film, My Paranormal Experience, The Gateway Between Worlds. You're out there watching. Again, thank you for tuning in. You can go to paraflix.com and subscribe and download all of the apps to seem, uh, stream seamlessly on your favorite devices and all of the TV apps. I wait for my paranormal experience, the gateway between worlds to come out on November 6th. I can't wait to meet all of you in person on November 5th and 6th. And again, thank you for having me out, out there and uh, for the invite. Thank you for being on tonight. It's been amazing to learn all about everyone and the entire team. A big shout out to uh, Beth and Scotty and Kara and everyone um, who participated in the film as well. And Nathan, to you, you're awesome. I look forward to our future together. Thank you again for being on this evening for the Para Experience 2021, the haunted side of Tahoe Biltmore. And yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll be talking soon, huh? <laughs> Definitely, I'm truly excited to see what, what comes what comes next. You know, um, that's really all I've got. I hope you guys have yes. a good evening. And uh, thank you so much. Keep it real out there, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. All right, namaste, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye, Nathan. See ya. So that was Nathan Withers with My Paranormal Experience. Again, we're uh, we're very happy and excited that we have My Paranormal Experience now here at Paraflix Paranormal Plus. Again, you can go to paraflix.com and subscribe. Right, right now, it is $3.99 a month for your subscription, as well as $29.99 for the annual subscription package. We have a really great special going on for Halloflix. So you can use code Halloflix. H-A-L-L-O-F-L-I-X-X 40 for 40% off your annual subscription. And we have some amazing exclusive content. About 90% of our content is exclusive here at Paraflix. And speaking of exclusive, um, if you want to go check it out, just tonight we had an incredible uh, couple of episodes that just came out from Expedition Entity as well as shadow hunters uh, paranormal investigations and events and tomorrow is the season 11 premiere of the ghost finders part one episode part one and also tomorrow night is another episode of gsi ghost sighting investigators and this past week we've had some more amazing episodes just released the season four premiere of our haunted lives so much more um we're just super excited about this live tonight. I want to give another big thank you from all of us here at Paraflix to Jamie Lee Event Company for giving us the opportunity to do this live on location. We wish all of you the best weekend. Uh, have a safe one at the event. Thank you to the new reality, to the Dead Hours, also a part of our Paraflix family. A big shout out and thank you to the Harrisville Haunting the Real Conjuring House, also uh, playing now on Paraflix. Go stream. Have fun. Um, we like to say stream and scream. Uh, and a big thank you to the Haunted site as well and everyone else out there at Para Experience 2021, the Haunted site of Tahoe Biltmore. And also, uh, before we go, I would like to 
let everybody know that this month we are supporting breast cancer awareness and our um, your fight is our fight. Giving up is not an option. We currently are supporting one of our content producers from Devil's Lane Productions, his partners in stage three breast cancer. It's been a very difficult time for him and his family. We do have a link directly on paraflix.com to the McGrath Foundation where you can make a donation. We would appreciate all of the, the support in this awareness. There's a lot of families um, and those out there going through um, something like this, it's not easy. Um, sending all of our love and prayers to you as well. Also, tomorrow, in regards to this season 11 premiere for the Ghost Finders, I would like to show all of you a little bit of a preview of that. I'm Rob Thompson. For 25 years, I've been traveling the world investigating reports of alleged paranormal activity. My team and I video document our investigations around the country. No frills, no hunting, no nonsense. Just some old world magic, a pinch of pseudoscience, and respect for the dearly departed. We are the Ghost Finders. A big thank you to my partner and friend, Patty Negri. Thank you for joining us tonight from uh, on location at Para Experience 2021. I wanted to give a special thanks to all of our content creators here at Paraflix. We love each and every one of you very much. We appreciate all that you do, and we look forward to a very bright and successful future here via uh, the new streaming service the home of the paranormal, all things paranormal, nothing else out there like it. So the only universal platform. And if you would like to learn more about me, you can go to my website, natalieannjones.com, and is A-N-N-E. And I do have um, a book. It's called Awaken the Higher Self, Bringing Darkness to Light, which um, I wrote and it was published last year by BMK Publishing. I also have another book in the works called The Little Secret Book of Life. Things are a little busy right now. I don't have a specific release, but uh, coming soon, hopefully I'll be able to share that release date with everybody. And again, thank you so much for joining in this evening. It's been a great experience. And one last big thank you to Jamie Lee Event Company. Thank you so much. Everyone have a wonderful, safe evening. Have a great weekend. Join Paraflix. Check it out. There is a free three-day trial. And we will, uh, we will see you next time. Namaste.